But it just thanks, Kamehameha Highway is the lifeline for residents from Haula to Kualoa, even beyond to the North Shore, and it's been deteriorating in several spots over the past few years. Well, a town hall was held on the windward side tonight with DOT officials and community members to figure out what could be done to save the highway. Nikki Schenfeld was there and joins us now live from Kaava. Nikki. <laughs> Well, the tide is peaking right now at about a foot and a half, and really the high water mark is only about 10 to 15 feet behind me. As I take a step onto the highway, it still looks like a beach with all of this sand. Now tonight, Director Ed Sniffen lay, laid out several midterm solutions in front of the community on ways to save the highway for at least the next two decades. Any long-term solutions were met with some heavy debates or discussions, but ultimately any talk of an H4 was quickly shot down by the DOT and residents. It was standing room only at Ka'ava Elementary School as community members weighed in on possible solutions and heard ideas from the DOT. But this road is important. If this road goes, Nobody's going to get home, so we got to look for an alternative passage. Figuring out what to do with this portion of highway has been a priority for DOT for years. Part of the reason that we're looking at this as a midterm solution, a 25-year solution, is because we know we're going to have to have, we're going to have to do something in the future. We know there's a longer-term solution that has to come. That road will be gone, so we got to do something about it. Either elevate the highway nine feet up so sea level won't touch it or move it Mauka, or do nothing are the long-term solutions. Midterm alternatives, which would last about two decades, included seawalls in areas with no wave impact or no beach, and rock revetment was discussed too. The DOT says there are nine priority areas along this stretch of highway. While long-term solutions weren't discussed as much, one resident asked if the state would ultimately force homeowners to pick up and move Mauka. Am I going to ask you guys to pick up your houses and move? And I'm not. That's not my job. But my job tonight is to tell you there's a potential that ocean might. That rock revetment idea was mostly favored in the majority of the areas along Kamehameha Highway, and construction could begin for that as early as 2026. But the community is allowed to weigh in on these projects and ideas online. You can go to our website for that link. For now, from Kaaava, Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News. Howard, back to you. All right, Nikki, thanks. Yeah, that area has been a trouble spot for a long time. Obviously, no easy solutions.